frankincense, cedarwood and bergamot. So taking three nice long breaths. Using a beautiful knuckling technique, overlapping hand over and round up the sides of the spine and a lovely long spinal stretch. Moving the other way. And the back of the neck, letting the neck go. Relax, 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 let it go. Stretching, locating the occiput line so that the whole neck area is relaxed. Okay, lovely Melissa. Give you a beautiful back, neck, and shoulder massage. Are you warm enough, sweetie? Yeah. yeah. So using the oils of frankincense, cedarwood and bergamot. That are so good for any stresses and strains. For the breath, allowing the lungs to function to full capacity. Oh yes, the oil is going in really well. Beautiful. Around the hips. To the waist. Your beautiful angel wings. And up and around the neck. So important for overall health. And starting off with effleurage. So taking three nice long breaths. And now an effleurage, firmly, two hands including palms and finger weight up around the neck, including the shoulder edges, down the sides of the back, meeting again, and right. side of the spine oh feeling a couple of little knots in there which I'll come back to and it's really important for the spine and therefore the neural system around it the cerebral spinal fluid the circulation etc is all paid attention when treating the back because it's the spine that will govern the health of the torso. If 
there is any restriction, fixation or subluxation of the spine, it will be felt in the workings of the torso, be it restricted breathing, be it an affected digestive system, or even into the reproductive and hormonal glands. And now coming up to the shoulders, using overlapping hand over and round. over the shoulder points in a figure of eight pattern up and round looking detecting for any issues restrictions there's a little bit of tightness in the shoulders, right at the very top by the neck, and then tracing a line under each scapula for the angel wing, so it comes under, across and over, under, across and over and pushing that soft fascia up and over to push it forward so that we're bending the muscles, stretching them, bending them, encouraging them to release and relax. And then separating the hands to work with thumbs in a petrissage movement in between the scapula, not on the spine, but just each side of it. And then up and over pushing any toxins that have been agitated over to the lymph factory in the chest. And then just working on one shoulder, moving the hand over the top and then feeling into the left scapula over the body of that plateau of the the scapular bone, the shoulder blade, and then pulling up the fascia with one hand while pushing the other hand down flatly over the scapula. A nice coordinated movement which brings relief, support and relaxation to the whole shoulder and neck area. And this will help when I come to treat the shoulder and neck area once Melissa has turned over so that I can then work having already loosened and softened this area. Tracing a line of the edge of the scapula I'm just going to use the hand here and bending the elbow, that's it. Lovely. So that the scapula raises slightly as there is a tilt when we bring our hand behind our back 
the scapula tilts, allowing for a little bit of space under and behind it so that those toxins that sit there very happily normally can be agitated and moved. Coming back down. And working to the other side. Across the neck and shoulder again. And pushing down the scapula using my thumb and thenar muscle to push over that flat plate of bone. Tracing a line round the edge of the scapula again, using fingers to locate and mark the edge. Now raising that arm again. shoulder in order to raise the scapula even more and then it's so easy to locate and trace the line. Always working with pressure upwards and over the shoulder. Edge and over, edge and over, beautiful, and coming back down, and then pushing any toxins that have been released to come up and over. Relaxing the arms. That's it, lovely. Up into the neck and lengthening the body. Beautiful long spine. And coming down, having done several effleurage movements, coming down to the lower back. First of all, with knuckles, using a beautiful knuckling technique on the flat plate of bone which is the sacrum around the edge and the sides of the hip any waste materials up to the waist area, down to the sides and back. Coming strongly up, separating, hooking down to the side on the couch and back. Using quite a lot of strength here. Now working each side of the spine with thumbs, locating each vertebra and just applying a little strength each side with an out breath or two, encouraging longer, deeper breaths.
this is such a tranquil massage to give an aromatherapy back massage really helps us to come back to who we are that essence that joy that is always residing within us and when we have a therapy like a back massage with some peace and tranquility alongside just helps us to tune into that essence. Sometimes do this flowing action with fingers and sometimes with thumb pads. It all depends how much I can feel going on inside and the effect that I'm after. And there's a little bit of rosiness there which is good. I'm after some good blood flow. Going to apply a little bit more oil. Beautiful. 
and align our fingers out and over the scapula to the armpit and again including arms to give them some warmth and hydration especially into the backs of the arms, the elbows strongly up the spine, gently down the arms stretch to finish the back massage. going to hold the towels Melissa. If you want to take a couple of deep breaths before moving just to acclimatise back into the room. I'm holding the towels and if you'd like to turn over onto your back and then I'll sort the pillow area out. going to put these warm socks on you. stone pillow on your tummy. It's been warming. It's not too heavy. And then I'm going to put a warmed sarong over your body. It feels a little chilly.
head to the side, spreading the oil of the frankincense, cedarwood and bergamot round the whole left shoulder, up to the neck, lengthening, stretching the neck right up to above the ear and pushing the shoulder down, strong into the fascia of the trapezius and then a little knuckling the neck, letting the neck go, relax, 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 let it go. And then picking the fascia up between thumb and fingers, palpating the soft area, bending the trapezius. Reassuring, letting it know it's okay, it can let go. And then using my thumb down the side of the neck and particularly tracing a line in the front, just on the edge of the throat, there is a line that's perfect to help clear without pressing on the throat and moving the other way. Around the shoulder point and up, pushing the shoulder down, coming round the shoulder into the trapezius and up. And then knuckling around deltoid round the back to the trapezius point and along it it, pushing that lovely soft tissue down using flat knuckles without hurting but just applying and letting the muscle know it can let go and then picking the muscle up between fingers and thumb bending pulling it one way Nice and relaxed and long, beautiful fluid movement and then pushing it the other way down, stretching, lengthening, encouraging the breath and then up into the neck again tracing a line the side of the neck where there's a beautiful muscular line to locate and then using the length of my thumb to massage into that very strong muscle the sternoclidomastoid in order to raise the head so I've got the full weight of your head just let it go beautiful then I'm going to locate the spine low down applying pressure each side of the spine with long 
index and middle finger. Bringing that stretch up and then locating the occiput with a line of fingers and encouraging the head to drop back down into a neck release. And then a little stretch, lengthening. And now again, repeating the neck lift. Each side. Stretching, locating the occiput line, and then allowing the head to draw back. And this encourages space below the occiput, in between the cranium and the neck, allowing better movement, mobility, but also allowing free-flowing cerebral spinal fluid, lymph, circulation, and neural systems so that it can all work effectively and healthily. And stretch. And just securing the towel for some warmth. Sweeping up from the shoulders, the neck, face and scalp. Each time applying a slightly gentler pressure, coming all the way back.
new with the deep breathing. Filling the abdomen with fresh oxygen. Sending this beautiful new breath down to the toes, the soles, the heels, and down to the fingers, palms, and then gently introducing a little movement to the feet and hands. And now, up into the wrists and ankles. Breathing deeply. And then bringing your arms out sideways. And for a nice long body stretch over your head. You feel okay? Yeah, really, really relaxed. Thank you, that's wonderful. My pleasure. They were nice oils, weren't they? They were. The smell is so relaxing. Mm. Just really, really puts you into this deep state of like zen. It's really nice. Oh. Okay, so I'm going to leave the room to let you get ready here in your own space. And I really thank you for coming to see me. It's so lovely treating you. And I, absolute pleasure. And I look forward to the next time already. <laughs> thank you.